The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS Commission, has delivered some 2.16 million EC dollars worth of supplies to member states as they continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. These supplies include personal protective equipment, ventilators, PCR test kits, ICU kits and swabs, to name a few. The Commission will now be able to deliver even more with a donation of $100,000 from the Government of the Federate of the Republic of Brazil to St. Lucia and the OECS. OECS Commission's Head of Human and Social Cluster, Dr. Carlin Radix, said that the funds have been earmarked for the procurement of PCR tests. We were quite happily surprised to get that positive response so quickly with regards to a, an amount of 100,000 US dollars to towards testing. And in collaboration with our member states, we agreed that swabs and testing was what was needed at the time, mm -hmm. the PCR testing. Further, as was said, we could do the procurement through World Food, Pro Food Program, through PAHO, so that the tests would be the same as the tests that are being used across the region. Um, and so this was an excellent partnership. Of course, there have been difficulties and issues. The swabs came first, and they were donated mm -hmm. across the member states. We didn't have to worry about cold chain and things like that. So swabs, St. Lucia received 1,000 swabs early on, earlier on. But now we, the kits have come in, and 5,000 of the 6,000 kits that the funds have been able to purchase. So we, so we actually have an extra 1,000 that have not yet been procured that Paho has said when they're available, they'll let us know. So we'll know who we'll send to which member state at the time will be most in need. Ambassador of Brazil to St. Lucia and the OECS, His Excellency Anwar Nahiz, commended the Department of Health and Wellness and by extension, the government of St. Lucia for its management of and response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The ambassador explained that despite some challenges, the government of Brazil is happy to lend assistance to St. Lucia and stands ready to collaborate where necessary. At the same time, my colleagues down there in the Brazilian Cooperation Agency, it's important to be this ABC, Agência Brasileira de Cooperação, Brazilian Asian Cooperation, they asked me to tell you that they are ready to do more. So you just, I mean, except, I mean, with the exception of vaccination now, they are ready to consider and to send whatever you, you just make us a list, like masks or uh, these equipment, I don't know the technical term. <laughs> yes. And uh, they said they will be ready to share with you, St. Lucia, bilaterally or through uh, OECS. Executive Director at the ON King EU Hospital, Nancy Francis, expressed gratitude for the assistance. I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to the Brazilian Embassy and the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States for this generous donation today. The donation of 2,000 test kits and 1,000 swabs have indeed increased our capacity to test at the Ezra Long Laboratory. And um, our team members are there with us and they are very happy. And this will assist us greatly in this fight, this global fight, for us to combat COVID-19. So once again, thank you, and we welcome further collaboration with the OECS Commission and the Brazilian Embassy. Nancy Francis, Executive Director of the ON King EU Hospital there.